some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere on the border between Pennsylvania and New Jersey, where we find a sovereign citizen who has a complete misunderstanding of treaties and the Constitution and the laws and anything else he can think of. And all the other typical sovereign citizen BS, such as sovereign citizen tags and no driver's license. So now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning, sir. How are you? How are I'm you? I'm Officer McAdams. I work with the Port Authority Police Department, okay? Okay. I do have to advise you are being audio and video recorder right now. And you are as well. I'm, that's fine. Um, I see your driver's license, registration issue. Uh, can I ask vehicle. why you pulled me the over? The reason why I'm stopping you today, sir, is you were a violation in the easy pass lane. You went right through without even paying the toll. Well, you followed me all the way from Jersey, you, so I wasn't why, stopping why did you, you right? follow me? Why did was you follow I stopping me, sir? You? sir? I would like to know sir, why did I you follow you? me and what crime did I commit? As well as I have sir, the right to travel, it's not a motor vehicle violation. I'm not going to play your game. I, I'm not playing okay. your game as well either, sir. Your game I have the sovereign. right to travel. Sir. I have the right to travel, and I never said I was sovereign. So please. Sir. I know it's hard to hear. You have to jack up the volume quite high to hear what the officer said. But he did call him a sovereign. So undoubtedly, he has dealt with sovereign citizens before. Now, he may not like to be called a sovereign, but he sure as hell has similar arguments. And all of them are quite worthless, as you shall find out. When I say that, I'm only the land can game. be sovereign. Okay. I'm not playing your game either. Okay, so I see your driver's license. May I speak go to your lieutenant? I want to speak to your... May I speak to you, lieutenant? I don't have a lieutenant. Well, you do. So there are no, call your no supervisor, are working call right your white shirt. I can call my supervisor, but you well, still have to provide sir. me with the no, driver's license. I actually don't because I have the right to travel and I have no reason to tell you my name or anything. You are a man in costume. I don't have to tell you anything. According to the ICCPR, which is the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights, I don't have to tell you anything. The ICCPR was a resolution adopted by the UN in December of 1966. Essentially, it's a civil rights treaty between all the nations, that kind of thing. You can, I'll we'll link it in the uh, description below if you want to read it. And it was signed by the United States in 1977. Ratification in 1992. Essentially, it's one of the many treaties we have with the UN. So, to break down the argument, this guy essentially is saying that he does, that the officer does not have the right to pull him over for anything because the UN says so. Yeah, sure, whatever. You do know that it's a treaty and it's not a law, don't you? Treaties with other countries and other powers don't change the laws in those countries or our country. We still have our own set of laws in this country, you moron. And treaties with the UN or any other foreign power or organization do not supersede our constitution or our laws. They are simply agreements with other countries. I have the right to travel without police infringement. Up, and right now you're pol you're infringing okay, on my travel. Out of the vehicle because right now you're under arrest. Why am I under arrest for? What you theft of services, sir. I did not theft any service. Yes, you did. No, I did Please not. Please step out of the car, sir. I did not. Please call your lieutenant, sir. Just open the please car. Please call your lieutenant. I I'm please call your lieutenant. I'm being respectful. You're not allowed to do this. So I have rights as a I'm human being. I'm going to let you know, okay? But I have rights as a human being, I'm sir. I'm going to let you know. And right now, I'm going to put my shoes on. I'm going to put my window, boots on. Okay? okay, and you're going to use force. If you open the car door, I will shoes smash your window out and then forcefully take I know you, you will. I know you will. Do you understand because that? Because you work for the Jesuit order, sir. as McAdams, and you are trying to violate my rights. So who ordered you to follow me from New Jersey to Philadelphia? This is not even your jurisdiction. So you don't even have jurisdiction. Let alone, you cannot infringe on my travel. So please call your lieutenant, sir. Please. Please call your lieutenant. Uh, Officer Teagan and Officer McAdams, please call your lieutenant. 
because I did not commit any crime. I didn't do anything to anybody. I didn't harm anybody. I didn't do anything. I'm not sovereign. I'm not sovereign. I'm a human being, period. How you doing, sir? Can you call us a uh, supervisor, please? Supervisor coming. Okay, thank you. Again, I have the right to travel without police infringement. You do. I'm going to get my paperwork right here to ICCPR so you can see it yourself. I don't have to tell you that. I don't have to tell you my name. I don't have to tell you anything. Because I didn't commit a crime. Say it again. Can you roll this down for me? It's already rolled down. It's rolled down enough. Now, according to this ICCPR. Well, he spends the next 30 minutes reading from that paper and arguing with the officers about the treaty. But eventually a tow truck is called. So let's go to that part. Many unbearable hours later. That's what you said, right? Yeah, in areas that are safe to walk. You can't That's walk on a highway. There's no and nobody saw you in custody. No, no, no. You did put me in custody. Y'all told me I was arrested when y'all took my car. That's the only way y'all was able to take my car by arresting me. Well, that's an outright lie, considering that they never brought out any of these shiny bracelets during this whole encounter. In fact, they're going to take pity on him and drive him home. So yeah, these tyrants took real pity on him and decided to do him a solid and drive him home. Right? It's a traffic stop. It, it, a... It, it, I didn't traffic anything, so how was it a traffic stop? What was I trafficking? Another legal scholar that doesn't understand that there are multiple definitions of the word traffic, even in the legal sense. I don't want y'all to give me a ride. Well, y'all don't have to do anything. Y'all don't have to do anything. Just can we walk right back here? No, why? Why? We got to complete our business here. You, you it's not your business. Okay, we're going to walk back you're here. You're not touching my property, sir. We're going right over here, sir. You're not touching my property. You're not touching my property. I'm going to relocate your property. Hey, George, we're in the line park. Follow him with your property. Bro, why are you smiling? Boss, I'm not smiling. I'm not smiling. Why are you smiling? Boss, it's, it's a Sunday. It, it is. Y'all did what the fuck y'all did to me. Right, right, look what the fuck y'all did to me. Look what the fuck y'all did to me. When I leave, right? What are y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna have lunch, smoke a few cigarettes, hang out? Y'all gonna do that? Y'all gonna leave? 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 Y'all so not, no, I do not want no cop ride. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. You have no choice. I do not want it. You have I not gotten anyone. Want it. I do not want it. You haven't gotten anyone. Y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know that. I've been listening. You've been, I don't have to tell you that. I don't have to tell y'all. So who's coming to get you? So who's coming to get you? I don't have to tell you. Fuck Jesus coming to get me. In a second, Jesus might be coming to get me. Come on. Come on. Right here. And I'm going to take one of y'all with me. I promise. All your stuff's already in. All right. Fuck you talking about. This side. This side. Oh wow, this guy's threatening the cops as they are trying to help him. Clearly he has mental issues. Something tells me that these cops know about this guy and have dealt with him before. Maybe that's why they're being so generous with him. No, I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not fucking good. I hear you. Cause I wanna mix now. Now I really wanna mix. No, come on. Come on. Boss, I'm cool. I got it. Come on. I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, you're so sorry in my car. Where's it at, George? In the no, I'm right there. All right, all right, I got it. I don't want to get in the car. I don't want to get in the car. I'm fine. Boss, my, you're so sorry in my car. I don't want to get in the car. I'm going 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 to get in the car. I'm Seven Street, I got you. Seven Street, there's one. Come on. I'm tired of you pussy ass niggas. I am tired of you nerd ass niggas. You ain't never got pussy in the fucking life you're gonna pay for. That you ain't pay for, nigga. Boss, you's a bitch. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the Seven Street. Let's go. Well now, there you have it, folks. That was a rather unusual argument he had right there, that a U.N. treaty supersedes the U.S. Constitution and the laws.
That is an argument developed by an ignoramus with no ability to comprehend U.S. civics and policies. Not the dumbest soft sit I've seen, but certainly up there with them.